so much nicer to drive and you can do multiplayer and stuff like that we run the walls we saved it i feel like building cars and doing car meets and doing some drift stuff is going to be much more Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on Drift 21 because Drift 21 had a big update. New cars, new tracks, better force feedback. So we're going to go full send here for today. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All that you found in the description box below. My phone's going off. So make sure you follow me on all social media. And let's get to it. So Drift 21 has a big update and there is multiplayer and a sandbox mode. It's definitely cool to see a sandbox mode, but it's all about the force feedback. We have the wheel cam and everything set up, so we're going to go see what we can do. I think we're going to go into quick multiplayer and just do some solo runs and see how the force feedback feels. Take a look at some of the new cars. So we're going to go single, and when I said there's new tracks as well, as you can see we do have training version one training version two stadium version two parking lot and stadium version one so we got a bunch of drift tracks as well as another track here too Kaza kazaline 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 if i said that wrong oh i i do apologize so i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to training version one just because we're gonna go check this track out so new cars we do we do have an E30, E36, E46 was in the original. We have an E92, and all of them have drift prepared setups. So, E92, drift prepared. Would, oh my, that's aggressive. 590 horsepower. It looks like we got some fancy uh, livery stuff too. So, we also have a Mustang, an RX7, a 180SX, and a 350Z. So you guys know my love of 350s, but I think we're going to take out the E92. No, no, I lied. We're going to take out the 350. So we are going to put on the drift ready on the 350 because we want to go full send on a drift prepared car to test the feedback. That is very aggressive looking. I think we're going to go with the livery that's on here. We're going to select that, and we're going to be doing a solo run. So we do have the force feedback that we have set on this is the recommended feedback that is from Drift 21. It's a very loud idle. Oh, man, that car's loud, but we're going to adjust that a little bit. So the force feedback we are using before we get into this, we're going to take a look at... The recommended force feedback for my wheel, which is right here. You have prepared suggested drivers. So we're going to pull it up. It's on the Steam page. So they have the, you know, the T300. We have the Fan or Fanatec and stuff like that. You guys can't see that because we're going to have to show desktop. So it is the T300. We have the Fanatec, the DD1 and SimCube, and the G920 and 29. So I am running the recommended for the Fanatec 2.5 in game. So that's what I'm running. So everything else I left the same. I think I bumped this accidentally up to 122. It's supposed to be 120. So this is all set. And of course, we have everything set 900 degrees of rotation and set how they recommended it. So let's let's go full. I think we've set in some view changing and stuff like that. I know this view, you can see him pulling the handbrake and stuff like that. This view is pivot. But there's also hood view. So a lot of people use this pivoting hood view in drifting. And it's definitely a very great view. But we're going to go third person view right now. Oh, that was a spawn to pits button. And if you notice the throttle and everything actually works way better. If you remember my previous videos, it didn't really recognize my throttle too well. So full send. First drifts. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm actually... Oh, gonna slide into the wall. Oh, we're shaking the wheel. I'm actually thoroughly impressed. Based on how this was back when I first started playing it, this is so much better. And it actually feels pretty good. Now, this is a drift repair car with no tuning or anything. It's just their basic drift repair. 
Um, I think, uh, I think they've done an incredible job of updating this. And for basic force feedback, this feels quite good. The wheel doesn't feel dead. It does have a good amount of feel. And we're actually getting some slides. The clutch kick, some left foot brakes. Oh, we need to, we need to get some uh, we need to get some buddies on here and do some tandem runs because I'm feeling the flow with this right now, and it drives so much nicer than it did originally. We're running kind of full lines here, and this is a pretty tight track. Oh, is that a gear? I'm uh, quite impressed with this, and uh, I'm definitely feeling the flow on this. So let's go into let's take a look at that roof view oh it does pivot oh that's this is like the view everybody uses it in like ESDA and competition driving because it's a great view to see when you're in tandem I definitely like how this car sounds so let's go into cockpit view do wish it would still show the hands and maybe the handbrake movement in the view where it actually pivots, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. Oh yeah, that definitely pivots. That is a apex look, just like Forza, but it's definitely maybe a little bit better. Maybe a little bit better fine tuned. Fourth gear pop. Oh yeah. Shift 21 has definitely updated their physics and it feels very nice. I'm actually having a blast with this right now. I feel like we could do Maname, we could do, you know, the Toge, and all that now with the way this feedback is set up and complete challenges. So I think we're gonna go back and restart our career from the beginning with these new feedback and everything. All the footwork, there we go. Oh, we gotta try that again, but we gotta we gotta try and get super close to the wall. Then we're gonna switch up tracks, switch up cars. Left foot brake works very well. I'm uh, having a blast with this right now. This is quite fun. We gotta try and get close to that wall. Here we go. <laughs> so I think we're gonna switch cars. Oh, that was not a very good entry. We, but we managed to get it. So I feel like building cars now is gonna be way nicer and much more satisfying. So let's go change up cars and tracks. And try another car. We're gonna pull out the E92. Because I mean it's an E92. You you gotta drive an E92 if you have a chance to. So we're gonna pull out E92. Of course, we're going to go drift spec and drift ready, going from 420 horsepower, which we may do to 590. And we're going to do the drift 21 livery. We're going to select that. And then we're going to go to. I like walls. So we're going to go to stadium version 2, which is, you know, basically a drift track. Uh, previous track select that free mode and let's go full send so definitely very impressed with how the physics feel they feel really good way better than they did before definitely going to be doing a lot more on here like i said need to get some of my buddies in here and see if we can't do some tandems i just love the animation the animation is great and you know the graphics and you know the fact that you can build cars is even better so we and i too Drift ready. Here, Drift 21. Let's get a feel. Oh, it understeers. I said, let's get a feel for the car before we go full send. But you know what? We're just going to go full send. Oh. We stayed in drift, though. We're definitely much closer to walls. Oh, God, we 
almost had that. I wish, is there a way to adjust this view? Maybe make it a little bit further out? Because that would be great if we could like maybe make it a little further out. It does not look like we can. So, this is what we're dealt. I feel like this card does not have as much lock as that 350 did. Oh, we kissed in the wall. So, big wheel physics update here on Drift 21, and now that this game does feel so much nicer to drive, and you can do multiplayer and stuff like that, we run the walls, we saved it. I feel like building cars and doing car meets and doing some drift stuff is going to be much more satisfying now here on the game, and we can't wait, like I said, to get my buddy and stuff in here. Maybe we can get Christmas out while tap in the front. Maybe we can get Christmas in here and uh, do some tandems and actually uh, have some door-to-door -door action because this is this is a lot of fun. The game has new life. Oh, sent it. Oh, we can. Oh, okay. Well, we just killed E92. The game has so much new life now with this physics update. It It's definitely very nice. So we're going to try one more track to end this episode off and let's see what car we want to bring out we are gonna go I mean we could do the Mustang but then we'll probably end up doing Mustang things what does the drift ready Mustang look like kinda like an RTR but I mean should we end off on a rotary bang? I feel like we should end out on a rotary bang. Hopefully, it's got a rotary in it. Oh, I definitely like how that car looks. So we're going to do that. We're going to do the rotary life. And we're going to go to... We're going to go to training two. We're going to go to training two and go full send in this FD. To finish this episode off, make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all the transcription box below. And uh, I can officially say I'm starting to like how Drift 21 is progressing. Rotary pops to end this episode off. We got this. See if we can't leak this whole track. Keeping it all up in the high RPM bands. No! I wanted to leak the whole track. Stay in it, stay in it. Ah! Oh, we technically did not link it because we did touch dirt. But I'll take it for the fact that we didn't lose control of it yet. And once we get into actually tuning these cars, I feel like this is going to make such a huge difference with how the car is going to react when you actually get in and start tuning them. So, definitely super excited to do more here on Drift 21. If you guys like to see and want to see more, make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll the description box below. If you're not sub, I do appreciate you tap that sub button, hit that bell notification, be part of the notification gang, and tap the like button because I do appreciate it and that's how I know what you guys want to keep seeing here on the channel so as always I thank you guys for coming back and watching I'm Evil Rabbit I'll see you guys on the track wall tap wall tap to end it wall tap oh, oh we looped it <laughs>